Welcome back to Chicago Independent Television. We now present a segment produced by the Chicago-based weekly labor TV show, Labor Beat. And this segment will join with activists involved with counter-recruitment efforts at the annual Taste of Chicago celebration. So they got these toys set up, and anybody over 16 um, can get a photo ID and dog tags. So we assume just a matter of getting them on record. This is a way for the Army to um, establish leads, and then the recruiters go follow up. I'm interested to know whether they're getting their Social Security number on those at dog tags. We're members of Campus Anti-War Network here. And uh, we try to organize on colleges all over the country. Uh, specifically here, we've got like three branches, DePaul, UIC, Northeastern. And uh, yeah, no, we were just doing some kind of recruiting. Um, as is also typical, uh, security is here. And they are trying to get us to go away. And now police are here, as you can see. If just, yeah, camera it that way. We now have the CPD getting ready to clamp down on people trying to organize against racism and people trying to organize against the war, um, which is sucking the economy dry and which is getting people murdered, arrested, etc. as we may or may not see right now. Well, yeah, we're Campus Anti-War Network. We're a national organization of student groups that, um, that oppose the occupation of Iraq. And one of the things that we do is counter-recruiting. And we knew that, you know, at these festivals in Chicago, there's always giant, disgusting, you know, recruiting things that essentially try to dupe young poor kids into joining the military and allowing the war to go on. So we were, you know, we were over there for a while because we hadn't found them yet and passing out literature and then we figured out where they were, came over here and the, the security came up to us and told us that we had to leave and go to the free speech zone. Uh, the fact that a display for children is set up at a, an event in a children's corner uh, from an organization that is funded by corporations and this government to protest um, the rights of people uh, in countries that we should not be in uh, is ridiculous. And we were here trying to make a stand against the injustices that our army uh, willingly participates in on a daily basis. Unfortunately, I guess the Chicago Police Department and Mayor Daly has decided that we cannot voice our opinions in a public space. Uh, which this park is, and have given us a designated area to speak in, which is unfortunate because these young children are manipulated and used by the army um, to wage a war uh, for a bunch of people <laughs> for their own profit, which is absolutely ridiculous. It's a genocide every day uh, that we're facing, and it's sad that more people aren't aware of that fact. They, uh, they came up and they were telling us that we don't have a right to be here, you know, you have to go to the free speech zone, the, you know, the, the standard Reagan thing that they constantly try to pressure us with and I just told them that I'd like to see the ordinance because my impression of it was that if you're in a public space and you're under 20 people, you have a right to practice your right to free assembly without a permit and you have a right to distribute literature. If there's a government organization present, you have a right to distribute alternative literature. Um, so I just told them that and asked them to see the uh, see the ordinance and eventually they went and checked and came back and told us that we were right and as long as we don't block foot traffic we can be here. So looks like the biggie is a 16 years of action of age. I have no idea what a strength in action registration card is. You can't be drunk and you need to wear your shoes and shirts and obey. They're going to get you started early. Um, basically, we're out to, here to inform people about, um, about things uh, that recruiters use, ways recruiters use to um, re get people into the war. And we're uh, trying to inform them uh, truthfully about aspects, about those aspects. Um, recruiters say, we'll pay for your college when they use tactics. Um, and soldiers come home, they don't get that money for the war. Uh, they make promises and promises to young kids to get them into the military. And many of these promises aren't true. 30% uh, of uh, the military is made up of minorities. To only 12% of uh, the military hierarchy, like the officers, are minorities. Uh, so there's racism, uh, sexism in the Army. Um, 
I'm personally here also just because I'd like to help um, inform people about, uh, about imperialism here um, with the United States. Um, the United States has about 500,000 soldiers in 130 countries with about 750 military bases around the world and that does not include Iraq or Afghanistan. Um, it's power projection and uh, I'm against that. I would rather see our military forces here at home if we must have uh, a military and uh, protecting our own people. Right now, out of, out of the massive force that the United States have, we only have 10,000 soldiers protecting our, protecting our own people. Um, and basically, you see here, the Army's letting people who are only 16 years old go in and uh, participate in their activities here to try to draw people as young as they can. They have to be 18 to join the military. Um, the hypocrisy just never ends. Um, Basically, I, I'm just here to, I'm just here along with everyone else to try to help spread some truth, to help people uh, be able to make an objective choice as to whether they want to join the military or not. And as much as we can tell, there's not really any real army folks here. It's mostly, um, we think it's any e sort of event planners and um, maybe an advertising agency that's putting this together. Oh, this is probably the little tank that we're, we're Run six feet underground, you think, or underwater? It's a little rob robot. I guess the harder and harder it gets to be to recruit, they're going to need more of this. Jesus. <laughs> oh, I think it's coming up the wall after us. Oh, this is scary. The latest in the killing machine. Oh, I don't think it's going to be able to. Oh, yeah. Look at all that technology. We can't find alternative sources of energy. We can't figure out how to provide clean water to the world, but we could build this kind of crap. That's amazing. Kind of like a turtle. I don't think it's going to be able to get out get out of this one. Oh, come on, don't help it. I'm Andy Thayer, and you're watching Chicago Independent Television. I see the soul of a nation. On the one-year anniversary of the landmark Immigrant Rights March in Chicago, thousands of people packed Chicago's Federal Plaza to mark the occasion and continue the struggle for immigrant rights.